Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be sharing one of the good news with you. So recently, one of our subscriber got selected in LTI Mindtree company. And there he was frequently asked Selenium with Python interview questions. Not only this company, but there are multiple other companies where he applied and he got selected. So I'm working on the success story and it would be uploaded in the next week. But before that, I would like to share with you the Selenium with Python interview questions. Now, many of the people have been asking in the live sessions, they have been sending the emails that uh, you have been uploading videos on Selenium with Java, but we don't see any content on Selenium with Python. And as such also, if you'll see on the Google or the other resources, the content for Selenium with Python is very limited. So what I have done is I have consolidated all the questions that he got in an interviews in various companies. He gave nearly four to five uh, interviews in different companies, first round, second round, and he has got the interview questions. So whatever the questions that we got, I also converted them into the answers. So it's a kind of a question bank if you are from the Selenium with Python profile. So you would get it on the top mate. And it is something for experienced people. This is not again for freshers. I'll tell you the questions also. So you'll get an idea okay, what kind of questions you can get if you are going for Selenium with Python kind of a profile. Many of the people are there who are using Python as a programming language and they are using uh, Py PyTest framework, Python automation frameworks in their routine life. But whenever they go to interviews, they get blank. And I'll tell you a few of the very, very frequently asked interview questions that you will get in all the interviews. And when you will listen to them in an interview, you'll recall, yes, we had got this interview question in this particular video. So this is a product. This is a digital product itself on the basis of which uh, you can get all these questions. Uh, let me share those questions also with you. So we'll not be covering all the question answers, but I'll be showcasing you a few high level question answers that uh, we have got. What are decorators in Python, right? So such kind of questions can be asked. You might be asked to write a program as well for that. So what are decorators in Python? So decorator is a function that takes another function and extends its behavior without explicitly modifying it. So you can apply the decorator to a function using at the rate symbol. And this is the simple example for a decorator that prints a message before and after a function is called. So you might be asked to write the program. Uh, this is one of the interview question he got in the first round itself, right? Uh, yeah. Now, how do you use decorators in test automation framework? Any, any one use case. So whenever you get these questions in an interview, it becomes very important that you define the answers properly. You just don't have to give the answers haphazardly. There should be a proper structure to each and every answer that you have to give. So very first thing comes is the definition, you can say. Then the next thing comes the explanation. The third thing will be some kind of an example. Fourth can be a use case where you have used th that particular thing in your test automation framework. So how have you used it? Where have you used it? Why did you implement in this particular manner? So those kind of areas you have to cover. If you will answer in a very structured manner in an interview, there are chances that you will get selected because the interviewer is a new person to you. He is communicating he or she is having a conversation with you for the very first time. So it becomes very important that your frequency and their frequency should get matched. When, when it will get matched, when it would be structured. So the interviewer should be more, uh, you know, trying to listen to you. He, he should be getting convinced with the answers that you are giving. So that is very important. So you should give such kind of use cases. Okay, so here we have covered logging how to delete the key from dictionary. So here we have told two methods. You can do it via delete statement. You can do it via pop method. What is the difference between list and tuples? So people who are watching this video, please write down the date timestamp of this particular video. This is a short, short question answer. This is a short, short question that you will get in every Python automation interview. This is what they are expecting in every interview. It might happen, you might get it in the first round, you might get it in the second round, it depends. 
Hmm? But this, you would get it for sure. So what is the difference between less than tuples? So you can tell with respect to various things, mutability, syntax, performance, use cases, methods, memory efficiency, which is more efficient, which is less efficient. So tuples is more efficient, efficient than list. Then syntax is there, parenthesis, square brackets. Then performance, tuples is faster than list. Use cases, it's a fixed collection. It is list will have collections that might change. This is a short, short question that you would get in an interview. Okay. So you can note down today's date and timestamp. You would get it in an interview for, for sure. How do you parameterize the test in PyTest? So you can do it via pytest.mark.parameterize. You can do it via parameterizing multiple arguments. What is a marker in PyTest? So in a PyTest, uh, markers are a way to add metadata to test functions. Okay. So these are few of the direct questions that uh, few of my subscribers got. There are also scenario based questions. So let me go to that as well. How to capture the text from the alert in Python automation. So that you can do. And here is the code also. So everyone who want to give the interviews, what I am telling you is I won't recommend, I won't suggest you to mug up these answers. You can practice these answers and you can also come up with your own words. But your words should be simple. What Your words should be to the point. It should not happen that the interviewer gets confused after listening to your answers. Okay. So how would you do the retrieving of the text from the alert? So first of all, you will go for an alert itself, right? Then you will directly switch. So first of all, you will have, you can also handle the scenario where alert does not appear. You can keep a try catch for that. If alert is there, then you can switch to that particular alert as soon as it appears immediately, get the text of that alert, right? So those kind of things you can do. How do you upload the file by using Selenium Python? So this was also one of the question. Okay, then this is one of the scenario based question. So you, you are using a desktop based application for data entry tasks and there are repetitive steps that you have to perform frequently. How would you like to automate these steps using Python? So in Python, you have libraries like PyAuto GUI, which allows simulating mouse movements and keyboard inputs. You can also use SQLy. You can also use AutoIT, right? They can also ask you about PyTest framework. They can also ask you about robot framework. All these things you can get in an interview. Okay. Now, as these are scenario-based questions, so there will be a kind of a question answer. So let's say you told about libraries. How would you ensure the automation script is robust enough? So answer for that. Okay. What are the security conditions that you will use? Considerations that you are referring, that you are suggesting when you are using automation tools for local applications, such kind of things. Then if you have to automate the data extraction from a website, so what you will do? All those kind of questions. Okay. Then integration with CICD pipeline, the PyTest framework related questions you might get. So such kind of question answers you might get. And this is a single shot this is a question bank which has nearly i would say 38 questions with answers and that is available on top mid so you can purchase this digital product today itself it is available at a discounted rate so the price of this product for today it is kept at a discounted rate it would be kept at this particular rate for the next 24 hours after 24 hours, I would be increasing the price rate. And as and when I would be getting the more and more question answers, I would be incorporating those in the same question bank. So this is a single source of a question bank that you can access if you are looking for Selenium with Python automation. If you are looking, if see, these days Java is there in demand, but Python is also slowly and gradually it is picking it up. So you might expect that few of the job descriptions might have Python as the programming language. So definitely they will ask you the interview questions on Python. Even if you know basics of Python programming language and you go through this question bank, you would get a lot more idea. Okay, that this, this, this is how the questions have been asked. This is how I have to answer. Choosing your words in an interview is a very vital thing. If you are choosing your words properly, then there are chances that you might get selected. And in this particular product, I have covered the detailed level of explanation, use cases, coding as and where it is required, the examples, the definitions, the explanation, all those things you will get in this single product. Right. So I would 
request you to avail this product today itself at is, as it is available at a discounted rate and would be covering such more questions for you, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.